Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement on this day where I'm trying to catch up on some shows. I don't know how well I am doing, but we are back at The Expanse, season two, episode six, and it's been a few days. It's been a few days since the happening. I don't know which one's the happening, but there was lots of happenings last episode. Now, according to all y'alls, that storyline is for the most part wrapped up and apparently the show's just going to get more bonkers, although I don't see how. But uh, hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. I don't want Miller to be dead. I don't think he's finished. I think he has more. Got more. I think he has more. Uh, that's why it's like that the scene, that ending scene with him and Julie, and he takes off the mask, and he holds her hand, and they go down with the ship. It was beautiful. Yes, but in my head processing, I was trying to figure out, is this really the end? Is this an illusion? How are they going to get out of it? Are they both going to become a version of more beyond the flesh? So I, I still, I'm going to hold out for that. Don't tell me if I'm wrong. Let me have that. Let me just have that wish, that hope. Let me have that hope that Miller is going to be okay somehow. I don't think he got, did he get, did he get what he was looking for? And I guess you have to go with, what did he end up with? So he was just, where did he start? I guess, living on series, he's a detective, uh, on the take detective. So kind of just out for his own, gets this case where he has to find this girl. And as he's investigating this girl, Finding out that she is more than where she's from. She's more than what she appears. She was fighting for a cause. And that gave him hope that maybe possibly somehow he could be more than what he was. And then especially when all the things with Dawes and, and the captain, Shadik, was going down. And he found out she was like in the middle of this whatever huh, horribleness. But then became avenging her. Yeah, he failed to find her alive and safe. So then it became almost as a vengeance and almost as a to honor her memory. I'm going to take this down. So at the end where he's just with the version of her, maybe almost the pure version. Because she just has one wish, which is to go home. That's all she wants is to go home. Nothing else matters. She just wants you to go home. And he's like, okay, and I'll, I will take you there. We'll do this together. I'll take you home. We will do this together. Boom. So he succeeded on a mission to be with, I don't know. I don't know. My brain's going, bing, 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 bing. Because when you also look at, at the bigger picture, Christian doesn't know about the aliens. In the whole UN, I think only Aaron Wright knows about the aliens. So nobody else in the U.N. knows exactly why the whole conflict was happening. Mars, Mars doesn't know what's happening. Nobody knows what's happening. So Eros suddenly taking flight and flinging itself into Venus, I don't think makes sense to them. It shouldn't make sense to them. So this whole conflict, though, with Earth, Mars, and the belt is still ongoing. So Miller pff, into Venus doesn't stop that. So that's why I'm thinking <laughs> to be more i'm thinking too hard aren't i aren't i but that's that's how i roll i also think i get a chuckle when all y'all's put in all the science all the science oh my brain science but also when you say things like earth is so vast so expensive you don't run into shit out there but then yogo somehow had a ship run across him his little speck of a thing floating out in space. Somehow, some way he got word out or somebody ran across him. So it's not as expansive as you think it is. It's, ex it's, it's expansive when it's convenient. I don't, know. I don't know, but I'm ready to get into episode six and I know you're ready for me to get into it as well. So I'm going to get myself collected. I hope you do too. You've hit subscribe. You have your blanket. You've got your beverage. Uh, you'll also remember that full episode watch alongs are available on Patreon. I'd love to see you there. Okay, y'all, let's get to it.
Oh, 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 we're just going right. We're just going right into the opening to the credits. Why? That's new. And yes, I noticed we didn't start with Thomas Jane. We just started with the opening credits. Huh. Mars had been a colony for a long time, and it was filled with the best scientists and technologists oh, humanity. We were in the past. We were ready to govern ourselves and start a new nation of our own, but everything we built or mined or made was still the property of old Mother Earth. My wife, Katie, wanted to start having babies, like all good Martians do, but I convinced her that we should buy a second-hand yacht for me to tinker around with instead. <laughs> I wasn't expecting much, maybe 4% better tops, and I was taking it out for a test run. I'm nervous for this man. I'm nervous for this man. Pre-flight check. I think I know this actor. My name's Solomon Epstein, and I changed everything. The consensus is that Eros was a test of a new Martian zero inertia drive. Whatever it was, it's clearly the greatest technological leap since the Epstein drive. And if it is a weapon... New player on the field! New player on the field. Where are we on the impact site mission? We've commandeered a civilian survey vessel. If there's anything left of Eros down there, we'll find it. I hope not. Well, I do, but I don't. 150 missiles we launched. So far, sir, we've confirmed aboard on 121 missiles. Oh, but we're confident we'll be able to account for all the rest in short order. Yeah. Those missiles were just... I don't know what you've heard or if you're even going to get this people on this ship, my friends, they helped avert a catastrophe. Amos might be more of a co-worker than a friend. I hope you get to meet them someday. One in particular. Love your mom. That is another thing I found so fascinating since season one was how the four of them, the four Canterbury crew, have gone from just mine and ice. <laughs> Just ice workers to revolutionaries. Turned an asteroid into a spaceship. And nobody knows how or why. We'll figure out how it works. It's not a biotoxin or... Well, you need some of, of the proto-molecule to do that? Miller wanted to destroy it too, you know. Miller told me he trusted us to do the right thing. And we did. Says who lives and who dies. Whether you like it or not, you are the captain of this ship. So, in the interests of the smooth operations of this vessel and the morale of this crew, I just wanted to let you know that Naomi and I are together, sleeping together. How is this the best morale? Morale. <laughs> I knew it. God damn it! <laughs> I, I take it funds. Some coin was involved in this. Yeah, awesome yeah. bet, man. Give me that arm. Yeah, I can't believe I agreed to this. All right, go ahead. Take oh. a shot. What the hell was that? I'm glad that me and her would be in together isn't an issue for you. Oh, it's gonna be an issue for you if you fuck it up. But she's like a sister to me. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd do her if she let me. I'm glad we had this talk. I gotta show you something. Oh, God. This is all the telemetry of the nukes the UN launched against Eros. Mm -hmm. Except. Ooh, look at that. Where are they now? That's the million dollar question. Kind of an unsettling thought, don't you think? Are they going to Tycho Station? To have a nice, safe, soft, cushy landing? Oh, that's a net. that work? A once in a generation breakthrough. I think this is the kid from Jungle to Jungle in Detroit Rock City who's no longer a kid. <laughs> the dangerous thing about being in a high G burn is that if it goes on too long, it'll kill you. Is this the first of the um, slingshot? <laughs> but it was a slingshot by accident. Is that what that was called? How is I hear he's been away on Luna. This is not a date. It's not. Those days are gone. Whoa, what? Don't be crossing me for trying. 
of a mysterious bioweapon unleashed by Mars, which Mars believes was unleashed by us, which we did not. Did we? We did not. I never doubted that for a moment. I believe Eros was infected by an entirely new order of technology. I believe the Eros incident was our first contact with alien life. Oh, he jumped to that right quick, didn't he? I have a file with 900 pages of analysis and contingency plans for war with Mars. My file for what to do if an advanced alien species comes calling. It's three pages long and it begins with find God. I need to get to Venus. Get me on that ship. I will be your eyes and your ears. I'll be your own private back channel to everything we find unfiltered by Janice and Aaron Wright. Oh. Arrows is arrows. Is that what they said? The arrows. Josephus Miller with his final one. Oh, Jojo. He said to me, "You." Wow. Wow. Look at that art. Look at that art. You must live. Just live. Wow. Well, we have one more thing for you to worry about. These aren't rock hopper mining nukes. These are planet busters. The missiles could be retargeted and sent right back at the end. Mm -hmm. Or anyone else in the system for that matter. Uh huh. This doesn't seem to be bothering you. Why is that? Put it together, James. Because I've got the missiles. <laughs> we scooped them up and brought them back to Tycho. We could use some help removing the countermeasures. The big ask. Earth and Mars are scared. And whenever that happens, belters always lose. And that means we're gonna take advantage of every edge we've got. Don't act surprised. Don't act surprised, James. When you're out there in the black, learning hard 20 Gs, and your whole boat is- Are these rocket bunnies? And you're out there flying. Just on pure instinct, no time to think. Because if you think, did. That's right, Maverick. Need to two team shifts. Me not to Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hold on there, Oh, jeez, dude, you're gonna get knocked out. Alex! The hell? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Jesus Christ, Amos! You live here or something? Yeah, I got a flop next door. <laughs> next door's a brothel. <laughs> yeah. Just like home, right? 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 Oh, no, no. You two enjoy yourself. It's okay. What do you mean that's okay? Who is that guy to you? <laughs> After you left Arrows, on your way back, you cut thrust for nearly five hours. What for? Even poking through our nav logs? Yeah, you got me curious. On the way out, Amos was forced to kill a friend of Miller's. They needed some time to work through that. We're on the same team. Uh -huh. All you, Earth, Mars, the... Yeah, what is the team? Shouldn't be any teams. Yeah. Beautiful dream, son. And I hope I'm around to see it come true. But in this world that we live in, in order to survive, you have to pick a side. That too. That too. <laughs> it's fucked and fucked, Punkin. At the rate my drive was burning, my fuel was gonna last for weeks. Weeks. Aside from the fact that I'd be dead long before that. Hi, honey. I'm screwed. The only thing I could do was try to signal for help. I will love you forever. It was my only hope. You're gonna drop that fucker, aren't you? And I blew it. Want to me, to me, who, who, who? You can do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, this mofo. <laughs> they gave him equipment. Gave him equipment. I think we should let people know about Miller and Julie Mao. 
Nothing about the protomolecule, just about them. A belter and an earther who was an OPA member that sacrificed themselves to save the cradle of humanity. You're going to turn them into a story. I think she's going to turn him into propaganda. I want people to know about Miller. He was a good man. He was a pain in the ass suicidal ex-cop. And a good man. <laughs> it's too dangerous to leave our sample out there anymore. We have to destroy it. There's another option. We can give our sample to Mars. They're the only players in this whole goddamn game that didn't do any of the bad stuff. If anyone can think of something good to do with that shit, it's them. Since when has Mars done anything that wasn't in the interest of Mars? The only way to prevent that is to destroy it. Dresden wasn't working alone. Do you seriously believe we've got the only remaining sample in the system? We just might. Because they didn't destroy the station that they found Dresden on, right? And he had samples from Eros. I would be shocked if some of it didn't get back to Earth and is in Mao's hands. Oh, she can control it from there? That's handy. Everything ready? <clears throat> Who's gonna intercept this torpedo? Because I think somebody's watching them. And I think they're just waiting for them to make the move. And if it takes forever to get from point A to point B, that's enough time for somebody to intercept it. It's done. And it's not done yet. Yeah. It's done. It's not done yet. It's en route. Is it? Oh, Naomi. What? What are her plans for it? Because with my drive, the Epstein drive, Mars would be able to move outward. Mind the asteroids, my drive would give us the edge we needed to finally break free from Earth. That's the wonderful and terrible thing about technology. It changes everything. Where they make the liquor, right? Oh, yeah. This is where our Mars people ended up to watch the food chain fly. Is that a sign for help or hello? No, we shoot the soybeans, sir. Only if they shoot first. Stickman, you're getting a little close to the UN line. Back off, maintain two clicks, minimum separation. Understood, Overwatch, Stickman, one out. Backing off. Don't want to make the blues nervous. I think she does. You in the mood to talk? What about? About the friends we choose to keep. Why does she look like she's dressed for bed? <laughs> so you really believe that he was trying to destroy the Earth? Is that right? He was playing with powers he couldn't control. We need to know what he knows. You should convince him to come in from the cold. How am I supposed to do that? He trusts you. And if he helps us, he can keep a semblance of the life he's always known. Are they going to hold his funds too? Oh, Christian, I hope you have, I hope you have backup somewhere close by. I can reach out to his family. Maybe they can help him turn himself in. And please let them know that if they can't, I will rain hellfire down on them all. I will freeze their assets, cancel their contracts, cripple their business. Mm -hmm. And I have the power to do it. Because I am the fucking hero who helped save Mother Earth from the cataclysm that Jules Pierre Mao unleashed. <laughs> and the only reason they think it tilts the other way is because we public servants are always looking for some fat private sector's payoff down the road. All of them pariahs hunted and on the run for the rest of their days until we find them and nail each and every last one to the wall. I will not be able to fit that all in the edit of this reaction. Good night. <laughs>
You don't even know why I'm mad at you, do you? Yeah, because I took care of that guy who was kicking your ass and I made you look weak. <laughs> Bad ones, ones you follow, and ones you need to protect. But so I'm the one you need to protect? I had a breaching pod where 25 people get blown ah. to pieces in order to protect you. Ah. I'd suggest discharging the gyros first. I wasn't expecting your help. Belters have to help each other. No one else will. Naomi's gonna become a general in whatever upcoming war is gonna happen, isn't she? This Epstein Drive. We're heading into Ganymede's shadow. We will be in visual blackout for the next 48 minutes. This is segment one, understood. So you just told her she's got 48 minutes to do whatever it is she wants to do. What do we have here? It's not one of ours. And it's definitely unarmed. Oh, she sounded disappointed. That missile lock. Overwatch, this is Stickman. We are reaching string movement on the UN line. He's out on foot, closing fast. They appear to be charging us. Ah! Helmet, Travis to eat. Marines, do you copy? Um, hide? 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 Offensive maneuver? Stickman, are you under attack? Something, yes. Wait, who's firing on who? Ooh. You that line, you Ah, why is this a question? And this is how you line up? This is how you line up! Well, they're, that looks like they're firing. I don't know what that is. I can't believe we're doing this. That's old Star Trek. <laughs> Shake the set. Oh, fall out of your chair movement there. <gasps> is their ship? I didn't know what it looked like from the outside. Fire it on them. Oh. Losing air. I think it's tagging you. Um, um, ah. Oh. firing on Mars. My brain's trying to go back in time and put into pieces. Mal gets a sample. Stuff, the stuff from Phoebe. They pretend that it's a Mars Earth conflict. I'm guessing to hide what they're doing on Eros. Eros is now in Venus. Her molecule, they as far as Mal knows, the portal molecule's gone. Why attack this freighter on the Gunnymede station? Or whatever that ship was. That's a Mars ship. And do we have a different proto-molecule? And who was waving from the window? I'm tired now. <laughs> it's making me tired. Like, huh? And Miller's going to be... Is he a martyr now for the cause? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I don't know what any of that means now. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try. I cannot try to guess or speculate. However, I will say this. Holden needs to realize that people are shades of gray and everybody's looking at it for an angle and the ultimate, the ultimate goal is survival. So yeah, as soon as he saw those 30 missiles were gone, He's talking to Fred, and Fred's like not seeming concerned. I would have gone, ah, oh, you have them. You have them. Okay. Why do you have them? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore. Okay, I'm 
just going to leave it at that. I'm just going to leave it at that because what? Oh, and okay. So Mr. What's his name with the Epstein drive and the thing? Is that all we see of him? It's like, okay, Mr. Man, we're going to hire you to, a, to this job. So your acting job today is we're going to strap you to this chair and you're going to be pretending that you're getting pushed into it and you can't move and just show us with your eyes the terror and confusion and horror and acceptance you feel. How much did you get paid for that gig? That's what I wonder. <laughs> That's the stuff that I think about while I'm sitting here and you think I'm just watching. No, no. Okay, I'm, mm, leave it at that. Thank you so much for being with me. Please take care of yourselves. If you haven't already, go eat something. You're going to hit subscribe and then you're going to come back and watch the next video in the queue. Right? Right. Okay. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.